the daddy is back. So I see one people, one person is here. One like. Hey, oh, uh, uh, there you go. Uh, sup, everyone. Hi, friends. I see you are coming. Andy and Alfred. Yeah. What's up with you? 21 people. Hello, Cliffy Mole. Five likes. Why? 21 people watching, only five likes. What the fuck? <laughs> Fix that. Fix with three X's. Connor Morris. Hello. Hello. Ben Glover. Hi. Jim, dude, man. 35 people, 15, 16 thumbs up. Uh, Damian, da Damian. Thanks, I'm, I'm fine now. I'm chilling with some, how do you call it in English? I don't know, ah, hot chocolate. <laughs> Mateo, Philip. So uh, this is the stream pretty random no warning no second chance <laughs> because I just came to you know who knows where I am this is the place I'm usually streaming right now like for last year or something Jason thank you uh, this is the Domino's not sponsored this is just the place which is quiet chill Casper thank you and it's good internet here and it's pretty you know minimalistic not so many people here actually this is the friday evening everything here is packed outside of this place just just next wall mcdonald's packed and here i am basically one here i'm one can't remember anything what i wanted to tell you Ah, yeah, uh, Valerie, thank you. So, uh, 20 likes and I'm gonna tell something. Uh, so yeah, push, push it. You push it, push it. You know the band? Not quite trash metal, but Andy. Yeah, uh, about covering something. When was the last time I covered entire song? I guess it was... Man... The last time I made a, to a complete cover. Uh, not... Not counting the symphony things we did with Ben Zimmerman. Jameson, thank you. Those are not covers, there are variations, renditions. The last proper cover I did was in 2017? March? It was battery alive. Man, that was a long time ago. Since then I got some other kinds of videos going. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe some truth and ever. You, you told. Pretty cool. So yeah. What is all about? Connor. Thank you. This is the stream one exactly one day after I released my first video in like half year, yeah. And first, this kind of video, the Sonic Breakdown from the Beltles, uh, in like several years. Mystery of Orion. What's what's the what's the mystery of Orion? That clean guitar in the interlude. I guess no. The it's still there at that stage of our uncovering was there but yeah uh, I guess we talked about it like three years ago in a video about that part but since the Orion breakdown may be coming finally hello uh, Etrimon thank you thank you since we are gonna do 
I hope a full Orion breakdown, like we did with Foam Rebeltos, or better. Because there's a lot of messed up things in that video. Uh, the lighting, the, that was... I made the video out of crumbles. I shot something, then I used my Beltos uh, bits, but I played it like with a recorded It's September, and then I used a clip from my 2016 video when I played the harmonics. Man, that was quite a, a puzzle to solve, but I had to make it this this week. Otherwise, I'd be, I'd be. I wanna, I, I wanna swear less. <laughs> uh, Thirty likes, great, great. So, the yesterday's video, you liked it, right? If you liked it, some of you wrote, you digged it, dug it, digging it. The past of dig, it dug. Uh, fuck it. So yeah. Um, so uh, about what I did not include in that video. That was firstly the part about um, sharpness of Homo de Beltos. Who knows what's the issue about this track? Who tried to play to it on the guitar? Or bass, drums don't count actually. You may have a face this issue. You just cannot play to the track from the studio, from the album. Because, yes, that's right, because it's sharp and it's annoying as hell. It's sharp enough to be annoyed. <laughs> but there's a couple more songs on the album that have this kind of sharpness, but not to that level. So that you actually have to tune it. And so I talked about that like for three minutes, but I decided to just move it out. Um, thank you for supporting me and my country. Uh, yeah, the Orion. Uh, one is sharp too? Actually, I have to look into it. What other Metallica songs from the 80s are sharp? I know there is a... Fade to Black, Ripping Death, and Ride the Lightning. Uh, Fade to Black, more, right, and Creep, less, but they are too sharp. I, I remember some Megadeth songs are sharp, like uh, My Last Words, too sharp to play along. But, you know, this is the common thing in the 80s, the 70s. They sped it up, the tape, and that changed the pitch. And actually, I remember this... Uh, this really extreme example, like, uh, who knows Bruce Springsteen? <laughs> this was, I forgot the song. He released in 1981, something like that. Na 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 na. This song. So uh, they sped it up to make it brighter, because the pitch goes up and all the frequencies also go up, so it becomes brighter, and so it became so pitched up, he started to sing like almost on helium. That's not Bruce Sprinting singing, because that was the tape uh, sped up, you know? And uh, the same thing in Fumo de Beltos, but I'm not sure if James Hetfield was uh, pitched up, because of that. maybe he recorded vocals on top of the, of the sharpened track. Valerie. Thank you. Thank you for being here for, for a couple of minutes. Have a nice day, evening, whatever. I don't know what time zone of you. Thank you. And glory to Ukraine, yeah. Glory to the heroes. So yeah, that's a fun fact I decided to leave out of the video. Also, I talked about the verse, the bass arrangement on the verse. What does Cliff Burton play in Home the Beltos in uh, verse? Doom, pan, doom, pan. That's awesome. That's such an awesome bass. That's quite an exemplary bass arrangement. So I talked about that, but again, left out. Uh, that's gonna be a separate little video. Yeah. Doom, pan, doom, pan. Valerie? The, yeah. Yeah, the guitar play just the chords just go on. The drums are tum pam tum pam, and bass is going like the drums basically. 
kick, snare, kick, snare. And uh, so yeah, I, I did not include that part. Uh, essentially, just say that awesome, <laughs> and that's it. What else? And a couple bits were um, in that footage that was messed up because of the lighting. I actually forgot what those bits. You see, such a simple song, and so much to talk about it, to dissect, to anal eyes, and uh, yeah, all we have the video was just about the intro, but even there, you might have thought you knew the intro, but you didn't, because <laughs> so much into it, and such a pity, such a pity that uh, all the work that Cliff Burton put into making this intro so, you know, as I said in the video, like a sculpture, nobody had a freaking clue about it, they just heard the bass uh, doing this, no, 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 that's it. Yeah. And also, I did not mention that Cliff did some variations in the intro. And so, basically, yeah. And basically, I guess those were improvised, in, improvised variations. Like, some, you know, things going. He did not plan those, for sure. But maybe those are one of the few moments in Metallica studio history that were improvised. Uh, besides that, the one more example I can tell is from the recent Metallica album, from 72 Seasons. Robert Trujillo improvised that Inamorata interlude. That kind of, that Orionish, my friend of Miserish kind of thing. He said that he wanted to just went, go with the flow and just play something offhand. Improvised. Hello, John. And the, the interlude was kind of, you know... There's not much going on there, uh, so he probably just tried to not to fuck it up, so he played safe, just to make some variations with the pentatonic and stuff. Like Cliff did in a Ryan interlude, those no no not no 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 little things, embellishments, he certainly did not plan beforehand. Those are improvisations. Much more sophisticated than Roberts, but again. So yeah, you say that Inamorata interlude is killed by hi-hats. I, I don't remember, is there any drums there, right? Uh, so, um, so that's a little fact. Fact. <laughs> Inamorata, it's also deserving kind of as its own breakdown. How many songs are left to, to analyze? <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Too many. Too much of stuff to analyze, so whole lifetime is not enough. So I have to be picky. So you're telling me something about the I that that comment is gone about the pull off. I prefer that 19 to 16 thing. That's that's solid. That sounds solid. And I don't know don't have don't have a while to uh, to play it the proper way, so the way Cliff did is suitable with what? And the rest is everyone plays it. <coughs> everybody is playing this intro in its own way. So yeah. That's okay. That's the point about Fondo Belto's intro. You just play how the hell you want to play it. And yeah, I remember one bit I also left out was about comparing Jason, Robert and Cliff's um, bass solos that they play before from the Beltos. Uh, that's kind of the tradition. If you're gonna perform from the Beltos, you have to play something badass on bass before it. There's the, the warm up, the warm up for the crowd, for you, and then you just go straight to the intro. And Cliff, Jason, and Robert did their own ways of soloing there, so to speak. And I discussed that, but I, but I deleted that. Uh, maybe I'll keep it for high guitarist layer. When I compare their approaches to Orion, each is playing Orion differently too. So maybe I'll combine those bits and make a whole video about Robert, Jason, Cliff. That's like an idea for the video I had for seven years. Still haven't done it. <laughs> it's all on the surface. 
Too much stuff to take care, you know. Different pitch and guitar hero. Uh, maybe. I don't know, actually. Never played guitar hero, but I did uh, make use of their uh, isolated tracks. Like, like man. I milk, I milk those like nobody milk any cow in the world in history like I, I did with those stems. Yeah, those are pitched down to meet the 4, 440, uh, 440 uh, hertz, yeah. So I guess that's, yeah. And yeah, uh, a home task for you. What Metallica songs outside uh, Ride the Line are sharp? Somebody told one, maybe something else on the Black Album, Master of Puppets. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Escape was sharp too. Hmm, interesting. All right. Uh, a little, a little interlude for the stream. Somebody asked me about the video games. Uh, piano and Fade to Black, since we did a video about it like six years ago, <laughs> about the synths and piano, na 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 na, along the James's vocals, yeah. Uh, do I play video games? I used to play some video games like 15 years ago when I was in high school and like first years of university. I played some FIFA, Pro Evolution Stalker, Counter Strike, Need for Speed. Oh, most wanted! I, I, one, once every year I, I, uh, I went through all the game. That's that's but that's the best, the best out of all the Need for Speed. Especially I love to crash those police cars. And now, no. I tried to play something, but uh, firstly, my, my laptops are not strong enough, not powerful enough to uh, carry those games. And mobile is... I'd rather just drink, drink a beer and listen to some podcast. Yeah, you say that in Disposable Heroes the base is kind of sharp? Man, man. How, how Metallica harmonizes vocals? That, you see, we just scratched the surface and a bunch of new ideas came out of there. So, uh, how many years have we, have we been doing all this? Still, still new ideas about Metallica. So, these are the... Uh, the clutch that holds us back. <laughs> Next video is gonna be not just about Metallica, but it's gonna include it. So, my fifth attempt to uh, pivot the channel. <laughs> yeah. Anders, the dead. Thank you. Thank you. There's a lot of paintings in the in the room now. There's there's no room for them anymore. So they are on the walls everywhere. Thank you. If anything, I guess the link to my wife's art is in this description. Check him out on Instagram. Buy some if you want. Bogdan Khmelnytsky. Who inspired you to play in bass? Robert Trujillo, and then Cliff Burton, and then a bunch of other bassists. Something about, uh, did you know something? I, I, I missed it. So yeah, um, uh, while you write new comments, 44 people watching, or for, for 54 likes. Push a like if you haven't done it. We've got like 20 minutes left. I'm already ran out of chocolate. So what, what else about the, um, 
about Full the Beltos video. Have you ever played a Rickenbacker? No, never in my life got a chance. That's that's a quite rare one here. So yeah. But at least I got a 5 string bass with 24 frets. You know that it was my dream to have this because that's gonna be all all I all I need to cover every damn thing. Bass power chords at the end of Beldo. That outro. Dun, 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 dun. Power chords, yeah. Also forgot to mention that. A drum score for that song, for for which song? For Uh I guess there's plenty of drum scores out there. Sorry. Garage Inc. is 25 years today. Yeah. Congratulations. What's your favorite one out um, on Garage Inc.? Mine is. Yeah, that'd be astronomy. They never played it live. What a shame. What a kick-ass song that Metallica actually made like their own. That's the, one of the talents of Metallica. They take the song, a song, and they just make their own. You cannot really tell if that's someone else's or Metallica. They are geniuses about it. And astronomy especially. This, like, if you listen to the original, it's uh, nothing like Metallica. Original Tin Lizzy? Oh, no. Uh, so, yeah. That's uh, awesome track. Brad Fan, man. The Budges. One of the proto metal bands which are underappreciated. Man, if you listen to their songs, that's, that's essentially. Metal, speed metal, when it was not a thing yet. People talk about Black Sabbath, about Motorhead, Scorpions, and Led Zeppelin, about something. But budgets uh, rarely do they come up. That's a shame. You should check him out. Stone Cold Crazy, yeah, that's also a proto speed metal, thrash metal track. That's what happened. Here? About a black album if Cliff survived. Yes. It would have happened. Or maybe Load and Reload 2. I guess James also told that Cliff would, lo would have loved Load and Reload at some point. How to find uh, Lux Eternal isolated tracks? I guess uh, the guys out there already made them, isolated them. And if anything, use the Moises AI uh, app. I once sponsored them, but I still use them. That's an awesome isolation app. Yeah. Imagine, to, yeah, imagine Tuesday is gone with Cliff. He would be shredding all the place, but without distortion. <laughs> so. Uh, about Ride the Lightning, if released now, uh, I, I missed it. Well, everything is good for its own time. Now, I guess a lot of records that uh, were released uh, decades ago would be below the radar, because that's not the soil, the atmosphere for them to, to go out there to the years. So it's great they did it. Then, with that sound, with that James's vocals, I know he hates it, but every record has its own voice and sound. That's the beauty of it. And yeah, Heroim Slava. I don't know. This. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Community music collapse. Like I play bass and you. Uh, I. I guess we did some collabs back in the day, like uh, with some YouTubers, by like community collabs. I guess the one time we did it is when a guy played drums for a Bulavira track, Fun Time Killing, which does not contain drums, it's an acoustic metal song. 
he played the drums. Awesome track. Check it out. Uh, fun time killing. Bula Vira. But now, you know, um, Boston's debut album. That's a masterpiece. That's one of the best selling albums ever. Man. <laughs> how I'm personally. Uh, how could I tell you? You know, we Ukrainians, we were in such a shock in the first months of the war. We did not know what to do. We essentially cried to the world, help. And then, as with the hands of our soldiers, we made it, survived, and then it was like the world started to cool down. We accepted it. The war is going. Rockets, drones. But we are, you know, Ukrainians are not a whiny nation. If they whine, that means something really, really. Uh, but, um, you know, we are, we just accepted it. The world moved on and we are living on our land. That's our responsibility. Uh, we are doing our job. And everyone at some point will be at war. That's also, we accept it. But this year, this year, 2023, will be marked as the year evil could have been beaten, could have been punished, but it, was, but it wasn't. And unpunished evil grows even stronger. Unpunished evil shows the other kinds of evil in the world they can do the same. And so guys, congratulations. Congratulations, we are entering the World War III. But it's not gonna be like the first and second World Wars. It's gonna be just a combination, uh, a mosaic of like dozens of local conflicts. There won't be a global war. Even if China with the USA gonna be head to head, that's not gonna be a glo global war. But just in your part of the world, in your neighborhood, it's going to be some local conflict. I don't know about South America, but maybe Venezuela has some views on Guyana. I know. Maybe you know better your uh, vibes in your countries. I hope Argentina and Brazil won't be in, at war. <laughs> That's going to be epic, but... No, don't. I, I don't know. How, how are you there? Argentina and Brazil. I know you're the two biggest guys out there on the continent. <laughs> are you getting along? <laughs> um, so yeah, that's accepted. Enjoy the ride while it lasts. And that's why I'm doing these videos now with such a smile. Uh, because I enjoy it while it lasts. Uh, I enjoy it. And I accepted it. You know hundreds of ideas for videos I have and I accept that only a fraction of them will be will see the light of the day and so I just flavor each time I get to make something finally I got to make some videos for you the Beltles one and uh, yeah so uh, that's the the mood the, situ the situation is shit but we are all right. We, are we know what to do. So yeah, let's move on. Next video will be about base two, more base on this channel. And then painkiller. Yeah, I'll make the breakdown of painkiller. Then Orion in February, if I'm alive. Then in between, something else. Thank you, Andy. I made a whole script about the power cord. You know, 30 minutes of talking about what is power cord and why it's so badass. Also, I made a big script, like 25 minutes of talking about the bass. Uh, when bass is the, the core of the song. When you cannot get away with not having bass in there. When bass is the essence. Fundo Beltos is uh, one of the examples. Uh, so, gonna take my time with that one. Then, what I have else? I have a lot of ideas, man. But there's only one and three. 
and uh, 24 hours in a day. Not very often. Like, I'm, I speak English only the time I record video. So essentially, and, and go streaming. Uh, once in a month, for an hour, something like that. What's your accent? That's Ukrainian accent. Pretty much the Slavic accent, but maybe I, I have some, something, something special in Ukrainian the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got like nine minutes left. L let's drop. Free drinks for invaders, those who remember the t-shirts, you are badass. The campaign ended like a year ago, not gonna resume it in that form, maybe the design will change, maybe I'll make some black t-shirts, they were blue, maybe these are gonna be black, that's gonna be the new campaign, but those are the collectibles now, those t-shirts are the collectibles, so appreciate <laughs> that you have them, and thank you for buying them. Uh, they actually helped buy a lot of stuff uh, for our army. All right. And, and speaking of those unreleased bit -it, uh, bit -it bits from Full Blibaltos video, as I told you, I'm gonna release them on my second channel, which is called B in Metal. B in Metal. I guess link in the description in some link tree and something. Right? And uh, that's the channel for extra stuff. Thank you. Um, I have a third channel, which is the backup channel. And I have the Bulavira channel, which is the fourth channel, my band Bulavira. Then I have the Tabs channel called Riff Tabs, where I post my stuff, covers, original stuff with tabs. I just released uh, a little video now. Five channel. Then I have a Ukrainian channel. By the way, if you're wondering where I'm missing, I'm growing my YouTube channel in Ukrainian. Uh, so uh, that's uh, kind of my side hustle. It's not profitable at all, but you know I have to do it. Uh, and I have another Ukrainian channel. So that's seven. Fuck. And pretty much not making much money on any of it. <laughs> Because that's, if you want to make money on YouTube, you, you're gonna really, really, you know. And someone asked if I make money of this channel. Uh, I guess like last month I had like 50 bucks from it. I'm not posting anything here. Even though I, I would have made m much more money if I posted, but you know. Life has priorities. Life has trade-offs. I have to choose. So, so yeah, if anything, if you want to support me making these videos, essentially almost for free, and sometimes they get copyrighted, that's no, no, uh, fair uh, Yeah, buy the t-shirts. And by the way, I'm gonna, I cannot do it. So go to the... Metal Pilgrim! What the fuck? Hi, bro! You know this guy, Metal Pilgrim, Vlad. If you want some metal content from Ukrainian dude in English, go to his channel. He's, he's taking care of that while I'm doing something else. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Go. 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 Ah, yeah. If you want to support and not uh, because of the, uh, the t shirts. I mentioned in the video, man, the bass and the four string mother, uh, also that, all oh, donations, whatever, go support me. One box is already this. One buck, one euro will fuel me for an hour or two. Give me fuel. Give me fuel, give me bucks, give me something to drink fast. Thank you, Anders. Thank you.
Slayer. Yeah, fuck. I have several ideas about Slayer video. I'm tired of promising I'm, I'll make something because there's too much uh, to promise and not make happen. All right, five minutes left. Who's gonna be the 69th like? Push it fast. You have the last chance. You have the last chance. 68 now. 68 now. Push it. 69. You're late. But 70 is also good. That's an even number. Uh, I, I, three people claim to be the 69th like. Four people. It was three. It would be threesome. Uh, so anyway. What bugs me in the list in an earlier fuzz, not the boss, bo boost. I guess, yeah, the first Cliff's ch uh, Cliff had boost and fuzz. And first he had the boost and then the fuzz. But the signature wa of, of Cliff now is the fuzz, but he mostly uses used the boost. Go figure. I have no idea about those pedals because I don't own one, so I barely changed my strings, so what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, a couple more questions maybe. Damage Inc. Something about Damage Inc. is, is coming up in this chat pretty often. What damaging? Ah, breakdown maybe. 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 We've got over 100, 100 Metallica songs to, to be broken down. Cliff plugin. I guess there's, there's some Cliff plugins out there. So, presets. I guess someone has figured it out. Cheesiest. How old is your son? And thank you. There are some old people here. I mean, the old subscribers, but old too. I'm also considered old for some, in some way, because I'm 31, 15. So when I started the channel, he was five. Wow. And thank you for your compliments about my facial hair. This is just out of convenience. I, just, I was so tired of uh, shaving this little thing because it's one day and it's already something there. So I decided to just grow them. It turned out pretty good, yeah. Just look at it. Hmm. Pretty Ukrainian. <laughs> Never would have thought I would have mustache, but that's the, the reality now. And I couldn't, and I'm kind of looking older now, yeah? If I shave them, I'm 18, or, uh, I, I'm gonna be 18, uh, 18 back, <laughs> again. <laughs> someone's gotta run, someone's gotta run and have a great day. Thank you for dropping by. Mm -hmm. Right, one minute left. So, guys, uh, so we, uh, if you just joined, we discussed uh, the yesterday's video. Yesterday's video, and I elaborated on some moments, like behind the scenes, uh, about it, and something else, something, whatever. Yes, just enjoy this stream of Andre talking in the background when you're doing dishes, doing someone. Yeah. And yeah, uh, if anything, the links to the t-shirts are in the description. Just buy them. And yeah. Thank you. Thank you for staying here. See you some next time. I hope till the end of the month I'm gonna release something else. Stay safe too. Glory to the heroes. Have a nice day.
every friend of mine.